Hey, today a short guide as to how to proceed in Freedom Mode 6090 in the Lost Forest as a level 1 character. Why are you level 1? Because you do not want to spend precious points on a fake newcomer or John who conquered trade and as such you could pick up other trades. There are two essentials to this method which require on one hand either the reincarnated monk trait which grants an initial benevolence of 100 alongside other very good bonuses or if you do not have this trait unlock yet the saint trait. The saint sets all different values to 100 it's not that good, it's a point waste, but in case you don't have it, it's your only other choice. Additionally, you need at least 10 intelligence. Furthermore, high dexterity and the trade like a rabbit for its movement range increases by one square is very helpful. As for the items, you can choose whatever you'd like at the start. I pick up some food and a token. As for these two characters, you can choose to help either one. It does not matter, however, what's important is to pick up the revitalization technique. And you can also already equip it. And then we're ready to go. Now the issue with the Lost Forest is there is a forced encounter right at the start. And at level 1 it is not winnable. So what we do is we go to this tile, enter the battle, proceed ahead and retreat. This way we can skip the forced encounter. Now here's why high benevolence via Ayava, reincarnated monk or saint is so important. It gives you the harmless trait so that all these vipers do not attack us. Now you can also collect some berries for the quest and proceed onward. Now in fact there's a second forced encounter right up here. So what we do is we first immobilize this viper, so it does not annoy us. Now you can quick save if you would like to enter battle, proceed ahead. In case your movement range is not that high, you want to first rest and go a bit further and then retreat. And this way we have also skipped the horse encounter with the hunter and the three boars. At level one, any boar will almost always one-shot you, which makes that battle not winnable. You can also collect all these different berries and whatever. Now we go to the red boar place. We meditate a bit and we want this boar to move. Typically around 1 p.m., 2 p.m. he moves. Now in this case I got caught, which is bad. Whatever doesn't matter, you can just pass a bit of time again. Interact with the steel and you get the most crucial item to the strategy. Origin of Combat. This grants 10,000 experience and use, bringing you to level 17. Now you can spec your point wherever you'd like. I'm currently going for fist build, so I'm stacking strength. And now we can actually deal with these forced encounters. In case you didn't know, your stats scale with your level, so you become a lot stronger as your level goes up. And if you look at it, a boar barely deals any damage to us now. You can, due to the revitalization technique, just put the battle in auto and wait for it. The hunter can deal with all boars. Depending on your accuracy, his accuracy may take longer, may not take that long. The worst one I had so far is the hunter summoning six sounds, but this is a really good one to be honest. We are at two hounds right now, maybe a third one. Yeah, a third one. Fourth one, okay. There you go. And you've dealt with this encounter. The hunter will also tell you about the location of the nameless village, so you can also head there to become an apprentice to the old man. And now we can also deal with the last forced encounter right at the start, the one that kills so many neurons. And you can see it's a joke. The snake doesn't 
even really do damage and you can out heal it at first. You just need to wait for your character to land some hits. By the way, I'm so glad that there's an auto battle mode. This difficulty would not be fun otherwise. There you go, perfect. And yes, we're afraid of snakes, and now we can finally end in this quest. But first you can head to the nameless village, interact with this person, and that's about it. Also remember to spec your passive tree, I always forget about it.